before a relatively unknown Al Pacino was cast as Michael Corleone, the shy young man who will eventually take the reins of his embattled mob family in The Godfather, there were other names bandied about for that crucial role. Warren Beatty, Dustin Hoffman, Jack Nicholson, Robert Redford, Martin Sheen, and one other person, James Caan, although he hadn't put himself forward for the gig. One night, Khan later recalled, I got a call from Francis, and I could tell in his voice that this was not his idea, Jimmy, want you to come in and test, they want you to play Michael. You can see Khan's audition footage online, his Michael alongside Diane Keenan's K. There are two fine actors who are all wrong together in a movie considered among the greatest of the last 50 years. Khan and Francis Ford Coppola's instinct was right, Khan shouldn't play Michael. He had to be Santino Sonny Corleone. James Caan died on Wednesday at the age of 82, leaving behind a legacy of screen tough guys. Sometimes, that reputation annoyed him. I just lost a couple of movies, he said in a 2011 interview. They said we don't want a tough guy. I said excuse me, I am an actor. That is what I do for a living. You know it's frustrating. I said to my agent, if I am the last guy on the list they could possibly think for a particular role, those are the ones I want to go after. That's the fun. But in his finest role, he demonstrated the dimensions you could bring to a character who seems like little more than a hothead. As Sonny, Khan expanded the canvas for what a tough guy could be on screen. The movie doesn't work without a perfect Sonny, the older, more emotional brother who acts before he thinks, nearly destroying the family in the process. It's Sonny's failings that will bring out Michael's strengths. It's Sonny's death that serves as the film's emotional low point. It's a performance that needed James Caan. Khan had the advantage of working with Coppola before, on 1969's The Rain People. Immediately, he tapped into Sonny's pride and rage, giving audiences the prototypical eldest child who thinks he knows better than his siblings. Belittling his kid brother Michael, a little too eager to call the shots after Vito is gunned down by his enemies, Sonny flashes a phony sense of confidence that reads as pure bluster. He was scarier because he seemed so sure of himself, his body being gust to what weak people confuse as strength. That con based Sonny on beloved insult comic Don Rickles makes the performance even more remarkable.